So, uh, hi, I'm going to uh, create a multi-step sign-up screen. I have just created the new app. I already deleted everything from the sign-up, the built-in sign-up screen. Let's add the second screen now. Uh, this is going to be a blank screen. Let's call it sign-up2. And put it in between the first sign up screen then the second sign up screen. So uh, I'll take this uh, text field and call it the second sign up. So uh, I'm going to create the sign up form using the uh, simple text input forms. Uh, here it's going to be three input forms. Uh, I'm just copying and pasting it. And on the second screen it's going to be two forms. So uh, Okay, so we've created the uh, UX uh, framework. Uh, and yes, let's add the button here. And Okay, so I have modified the user's database a little bit. So uh, we have not just email, password, and username, full name. We have also gender and the country of residence. So I would like the user who signs up to enter the information about the email, password, and username on the first screen, and gender and the country of residence uh, on the second screen. So here it's going to be normal input. Uh, your email and here your password and we will make it a password type of input your full name uh, uh, your gender uh, I'll keep it as a text field but uh, we can modify it uh, later on. And here, country of residence. So let's uh, now let's implement some logic. Uh, okay, for this screen, we see that uh, this is a welcome screen. So user who is not signed up gets here. And by pressing continue, we want to add an action that we sign up the new user. So let's add an action that we sign up the new user. It's not creating new user, it's signing up new user. So email we will take from the form input one. Uh, let's rename them to input email. This one gonna be input password. This is going to be input full name and uh, input gender. So what I'm doing, why the reason I'm doing that is to make them distinguishable between each other. Okay, so by pressing continue, we sign the user up, uh, taking the email from input email, password from input password, full name from input full name. And then we link the user to the sign up to screen where we require the gender and country of residence. So uh, as when the user on, is on this screen, uh, he or she already uh, signed up. Here we need just to update the uh, fields uh, of the user. So by pressing finish, 
we are mm, let's add action let's update logged in user so we are changing the gender from taking the gender from this input and country of residence from country of residence input and uh, also we add action that we need to go to the home screen link to the home screen and uh, just to indicate that everything is working uh, let's uh, add some uh, uh, some information about the logged in user to the home screen so for example we will add a text uh, saying welcome uh, logged in user email and maybe say let's add a list of users uh, just this is just for the simple purpose of uh, uh, example of the so this is going to be a list of users all users uh, and the fields the title gonna be say user not user email but uh, user full name and the subtitle will be user uh, country of residence and let's disable the left section okay and uh, yes uh, to be able to test it uh, several times let's add a logout button so this uh, no we don't need it actually we have this we have it here already right icon and I think by default yes uh, it's logs us out okay uh, let's test it So this is our sign up screen. I don't have any account. Uh, let's demo one gmail.com. Your password one two three. Your full name. Continue. Then your gender. Say male. Country of residence. For example, France. Finish. Okay, the password is not very. So we see that this user has been signed up and this is a demo using one country France. Uh, let's test if, if it works demo one gmail.com one, two, three, login. Wonderful, it works. Let's add some more users. Uh, let it be demo two at gmail.com the password be, will be again the same the full name will be so then we continue to the next screen okay it's gonna be a female user living in uh, UK And then we get to the, again, the password demo user two. And we see that there's another user has appeared. So here's the example how you can create the multi-step user sign up routines.